It has been universally acclaimed that the private sector is the integral arm that stimulates and galvanizes the economy of most countries of the world through various economic activities that create wealth and value-adding employment opportunities to the life of the people. In Nigeria, the Igbos of the Southeast extraction are undisputedly regarded as the leading entrepreneurs whose business enterprises are aggregately playing a catalytic role in boosting the economic fortunes of the country. Among the Igbos in the Southeast, those from Nnewi play a dominant role in the contribution to the growth of Nigeria's economy. One of such illustrious sons of Nnewi origin is Chief Dr. Cletus Ibeto, O-O-N-C-O-N, who sits atop a very flourishing business conglomerate acclaimed as the largest trading and manufacturing business enterprise in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Chief Cletus Ibeto, who began very early in life as a spear parts dealer, an importer of automotive batteries and plastic motor accessories, completed his factory in 1995, which now makes the Ibeto Group one of the largest auto spare parts manufacturing outfits in the country today. Chief Dr. Kalatos Ibeto established the Ibeto Petrochemical Industries Limited in 1996. The company which has the largest liquefied storage facilities for petroleum products in Nigeria, is engaged in the blending of oil lubricants and the production of various types of petroleum products for local and international markets. The Ibeto Group owns and operates Ibeto Cement Company with a purpose-built jetty, the biggest in the West African sub-region, projected to be producing on completion over 5 million tons of cement. Indeed, Chief Dr. Kletus Ibeto's contribution to the development of Nigeria was recognized at the last National Honors Award ceremony when President Goodluck Jonathan conferred on him the National Award of the Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON. Chief Dr. Kletus Ibeto, who celebrated his 60th birthday recently, played host to the cream of the society made up of his friends, business associates, family members and other dignitaries who came from as far afield as other parts of the world. This was at the occasion of his traditional marriage, what the Igbos call Ibankuwai at Umunze in Anambra State, the hometown of the beautiful wife, Mrs. Ifeinwa Okwala. The multi-legged events began at the hometown of his beautiful wife, Ifeinwa Opala. The delectably beautiful bride began the preparation for the great day with the makeover and beauty therapy to make her look her most radiant and elegant on a day when nothing was spared by her husband, the Prince Charming, Dr. Ibeto, to present her to the entire world as indeed the most beautiful creature ever to be created. Of course, with the best hand in the makeover and beauty therapy business handling that aspect, the bride of the moment was before too long transformed into a queenly state as her Prince Charming, Dr. Cletus Ibeto, doted over her, making sure that everything was in place. BOS video and cameramen had a few days capturing the bride and the groom as they posed in different forms to show the world what a perfect match they both are for each other in virtually all departments. Augustina Ifeinwa Ibeto, ni Opala, was born in Obudu Cross River State of Nigeria where she had her elementary, secondary and tertiary education at the University of Calabar. Augustina Ifeinwa Ibeto met Chief Dr. Cletus Madubugu Ibeto at the Holy Trinity Church Enugu, where she was an active chorister. It was at one of those church services where Ifeinwa was picked out to sing, where she impressed Chief Ibeto and others with the brilliant soprano performance. We're on the team, Allah. 
Gini kangeji Wero lo chimulo Gini kangeji Wero lo chimulo Gini kangeji Wero lo chimulo The Opalas in Umunze where an elaborate arrangement had been made for the traditional marriage. The event, which took place on the expansive field in Umunze, saw the families of the groom from Unewi and the bride from Umunze, both in a number of states, in great reunion as traditional music held sway. <laughs> After Chief Dr. Cletus Ibeto, his friends and family members had behaved like good and dependable in-laws that they are to cut the friendship of the Opalas and warm their way into their mind with everyone dancing and singing heartily, the bride, Mrs. Ifeyunwa Ibeto, in company of her beautiful friends, danced into the arena urged on by the inimitable high life sound of Morocco Madoka. Her mission to greet her husband and all those who accompany him, as well as her family members. Stage, the bride took the pan one round the arena in search of her husband in the crowd. She then presented the pan one to formally announce the presence of her husband to her family. The groom, Chief Dr. Cletus Ibeto, followed her to her parents, where, as tradition demands, the groom makes some cash donations amidst merrymaking. The formal reception for the Grand Ibeto Opala traditional marriage extravaganza brought a lot of dignitaries to Umunze town in Anambra state. The governors of Anambra and Imo states, members of the National Assembly and other top-flight personalities 
also had in attendance some of the leading musicians in the gospel and secular music genres who are in top demand in the southeastern part of Nigeria. This include Choma Jesus, Moroko Maduka and others. The musical act treated the dignitaries to a very enjoyable time at the event. <laughs> The highlight of the reception was the exchange of congratulatory pleasantries by the different dignitaries with the groom, Chief Ibeto, and his beautiful wife, Mrs. Ifenwa Ibeto. To round off the traditional marriage, Iban Kunwai, between Chief Dr. Cletus Ibeto and Mrs. Ifenwa Ibeto, there was a special Thanksgiving service which took place at the St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church in Newe Anambra State on Sunday, 16th December 2012. The church service, which was well attended, featured in the main different special renditions by the choir of the church to spiritually fortify the marriage. Important to state here that Mrs. Ifeinwa Ibeto met her husband, Dr. Kletus Ibeto, at a church service where her sonorous voice as a member of the choir of that church attracted the attention of Dr. Kletus Ibeto. That was the beginning of a story that has completely redefined marriage, where a 60 year old, very successful entrepreneur enters into a fresh marriage contract with someone he has decided to live the rest of his life with. The clergyman who officiated at the service congratulated the couple and advised them to live in the way of the Lord. The man of God said, with the pedigree, fear of God and benevolent disposition of Dr. Cletus Ibeto towards everyone, the wife should be doubly assured of the kind of home she is entering into. The Thanksgiving session featured a long drawn period of singing and dancing as family members, friends and other dignitaries rejoiced with the Ibeto and Opala families. <laughs>
special interview with the Bisi Olatolo show crew, the bride and groom spoke extensively about the exciting love life from which a lot of lessons can be learnt by all. I met him in the church. I used uh, to Holy Trinity uh, in Enugu. Yes, I used to be a chorister. You sing? Yeah, I sing. Soprano. I sing soprano. So I was picked out on a Sunday out of where I was singing. So that was when I knew him. <laughs> wow, it's, it has been a very wonderful time. I knew him almost more than up to almost four years now. Yeah, and all these years I'm so blessed and we've been so happy. Ah, I couldn't ask God for any other thing. He's a loving man. He's a loving man. I really, and I really love and appreciate him for that because he treats me like a princess. So. <laughs> You can see from the face of my wife that she's a pretty girl, okay? Uh, the attraction is actually first to her beauty, the smiles on her face, her white teeth, and then I approached her to know how, what is in her heart. Of course, I, will not, I did not know it that, same, that very day. But as time goes on, when we're chatting and uh, interacting, then I came to know that uh, she's a girl. You know that we make a good home. I'm 60 years old, and uh, people say that I look 40. How did I come to look like that? It's from the girl. She makes she makes me feel as if I am 20 years old. Okay, so it, it reflects on my body, it re reflects on my face, and also in my character. It's hearty congratulations to Chief Dr. Cletus Ibeto and his beautiful wife, Mrs. Ifeyinwa Ibeto.